everyone thank you so much for joining me today we're talking about fashion pressures now you know that university fashion is a big thing especially if you attend a large university oh my goodness I noticed that in depending on your major for example people in business law finance they nail fashion it's like oh my goodness they have the latest shoes the latest bags and everything compared to if you for example are in science like science majors don't really keep up or they, they're not really fashion inclined so I'm talking to you to those of you out there who are fashion inclined those of you who are into fashion you love fashion I mean fashion in of itself is not a bad it's not bad to look good but here I'm talking about the pressures of fashion now you can have pressures from your own friends who are always like if you have friends who are always keeping up with the latest fashion and you're not and they're like hey what are you wearing no you have you need to have the latest bag you need to have the latest perfume or you need to have the list thing and that puts so much pressure on you because you're like oh I need to keep up with my friends or in my case I had pressure from myself none of my friends pressured me to uh, keep up with the latest trend but I was the kind of person that when I would look at my friends I was like hmm. I wish I had that coat. I wish I had these shoes. I wish I had her her back. I wish I had that kind of hairstyle she has. I wish I had this. I wish I had that. So I was always pressured like in it was my own the pressure that I was causing myself. I was causing myself that pressure like I need to have the latest trend just like my friend now why is it important to talk about fashion pressures is because the more we let that pressure get into us the more our mind instead of being heavenly focused people we're now begin beginning we're beginning to be worldly focused people and you know that we're supposed to focus on Christ not on things of the world not on materialistic things so in my own case like I said um, the biggest uh, the biggest pressure came from myself the pressure came from myself because I was like I wish I could have what they have I wish I could dress up like they do dress up and it was always I, I felt sad because we're just like I wish I could have what they have and sometimes if you go to social events you know everybody's like looking apart and then you just <sighs> It was <laughs> it was sad and for me I think the, the problem was that I in university in college I had what I needed but I didn't have what I wanted so I was like I wish I could have the money to buy the latest trends to have the latest outfits out there but I didn't um, I'll show you a um, few pictures of what it looked like here's my student ID uh, this is the student ID I had for my uh, uh, my first year I took that picture in my first semester in college and I was in Canada I was studying in Canada now the big chop whew, that's another story for another day but I didn't want to do I didn't want to big chop my hair and as you can see I just I just I didn't like it I hated my I hated that hairstyle and because of that I had such a low esteem I didn't feel pretty because I'm just like the other girls have long hair they have curly hair they have this and that and I'm stuck with this hairstyle so I really really hated that another thing you can see that blue jacket that was the only jacket I had in my first semester in college now you know Canada is super duper cold it's freezing imagine me just having one jacket I mean I use I wore that jacket full-time overtime all the time I abused that jacket to the point that that jacket was just smelling because I would just wear it all the time Here's another picture of me and a friend. I mean, just look at the picture. You can see the girl looks, the girl, my friend looks so, oh, she looks so gorgeous. And I remember when I saw her at that event, I was like, oh, really, did you have to wear this? I was like, oh my goodness, she looked so gorgeous with that silk dress. It was just, she looked so gorgeous. And look at me, I was like, here I am with a turtleneck when this girl is wearing such a beautiful oh, such a beautiful beautiful dress so things like that you know when I saw that I was like oh, oh Lord Jesus why do <laughs> so the thing that happens when you have pressures especially fashion pressures is you can fall in one of two categories the first one is the one I fell into is where you 
begin to envy you begin to covet what people have it's like oh, i wish i could have the money i wish i could have the money i wish i could have the money i wish i could borrow money i wish i could i just want to buy the things that other people have or the second category is where you do have the money and now you start to lavish you know money on things like oh i need to uh, you buy you just buy and uh, like recklessly you're just like buying anything and everything just for the sake of fitting in just for the sake of being like everybody else so you're just lavishing money on everything and anything so in the first category you filled with envy you feel with covetousness where you're like i need to get those shoes by all means if i need to borrow money i'll borrow money by all means i got to have those shoes now i'm not talking about if for example you are in need of shoes let's say it's summertime and you don't have flip-flops and you're like oh lord please can you provide that i will have those shoes that's different because you need the shoes uh, for the summertime because you probably just have boots let's say and you want flip-flops i'm not talking about that i'm talking about if if you are just filled with that zeal of I need to have the shoes that Stephanie has because Stephanie got the heels she got the Gucci purse I got to have that purse I got to have those shoes that kind of spirit you know that is not from God and this is only the devil trying to manipulate your mind so instead of focusing on glorifying God with your decisions you're not focusing on possessing 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 possess so category number two is when you do have the money and you're like you know what i don't care i buy the purse i'll buy the shoes i'll buy whatever i need to buy because what this is my money at the end of the day of course it is your money but you have to understand that whatever you have comes from god first chronicles 29 verse 14 um david says this but who am I and who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you and we have given you only what comes from your hand. So even if you have the money and you say it is your money, at the end of the day you have to remember that it's God that gave you the job, it's God that gave you the strength, it's God that provided for the money and everything you have and you need to handle that money, uh, therefore you need to handle that money wisely in a godly manner. The point I'm trying to, to make here, you have to look at your intention. What is your intention behind buying the latest trend? Is it because you want to look like everybody else? You want to be on top of the game? You want to look better than everybody else? You want to have the latest trend so that everybody can look at you? You want to have this or that because you want to be the center of attention or is it something that you need? I need the shoes, I need the purse, I needed this. Or maybe sometimes you're like, hmm, maybe I needed to treat myself for this or that. But if you have the intention of just keeping up because you saw something on MTV or you saw something on campus and you're like, because she has it, I better have it, then you see that this is not really the attitude of a child of God. The danger in feeling pressured by fashion is that you get yourself pulled away from the Lord slowly but surely. Let me give you an example of one person who loved the world and how he slowly became uh, disinterested in the things of the world. 2 Timothy 4.10 says, uh, this is Paul who's talking, he says, For Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. Here, Demas is an example of a man who was called by the Lord to walk alongside with Paul and he was working for the Lord, doing great things for the Lord, serving the Lord. And then he started loving the things of the world. He started wanting probably to, he probably wanted to possess things. He probably wanted to get the latest things and to do the things that the people of the world were doing. And slowly but surely, he was like, hmm, this thing with Paul, mm -mm. no, 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 no. I need to go to the world and experience everything. And you see how Paul here is saying that because he loved the world, he deserted him. And he even left the work that God had for him. That's the danger when we're trying to do what the people of the world are doing by feeling pressured because we want to have the latest trend. As a, as a born-again Christian, we shouldn't let 
fashion control us but we should instead control fashion i repeat that again we shouldn't let fashion control us but we should control fashion the attitude that we're supposed to have is what is described in colossians uh, chapter 3 when paul says since then you have been raised with christ set your hearts on things above where christ is seated at the right hand of god Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. That's the attitude we should have. Make decision with a heavenly perspective. Glorify God in everything that we Again, I don't mean that you should, uh, because you want to be, uh, set, because you want to set your mind on Christ. I don't mean that you should no longer buy stuff because you're like oh these are earthly things i don't i should keep my mind on christ no that that's that's not what i that's not what the verse here says of course buy the shoes buy the dresses and everything but like i said before you need to check your intention are you buying the latest trend because so and so has it because you want to keep up because you want to be on top you want to be noticed you want to possess things or you're buying it because that's something that you would love to have. That's something that you need. If you honor God, God will honor you back. What I learned through the semesters in college is to be satisfied with the little I had. I learned to be content with whatever I had and I learned to work with the little I had. So God was so good and God, I mean, we serve such an awesome God who provides even for the little things like fashion. It's like, why would God care about fashion? But it's because he loves us so much. And I did, uh, aside from that one quote that you saw, um, throughout the semester, God provided for more coats. So I had more jackets and I had more coats and it was so awesome because God just blessed me in that manner in his own time. And also you have to be mindful, what testimony are you giving? I mean, your friends, if they want to know, learn about Christ, if they want to be interested in Christ, it is through you, it's through me. So whatever attitude we portray out there that will send a signal and let's just learn to honor God and honor him in front of our friends in front of our family and just to give a good image of to be good ambassadors of Christ I hope um, this bless has blessed you uh, let me know if you have any comments and I'll definitely wish you a nice day Bye.